Greg with the Ninja Kitchen team. Only with the Ninja Coffee Bar can you brew a concentrated coffee with our specialty brew function. The specialty brew is a perfect ingredient for those latte style drinks, cappuccino style drinks, and specialty blended drinks. You can check out the Ninja Coffee Book for inspiring recipes. It's always best to use freshly ground coffee in filtered water. We already ground our beans and place them in a sealed container here. Once you have everything that you need, fill the water reservoir above the minimum fill line of the size that you'd like to brew. So here we'll be brewing the travel mug, so I filled above the travel mug setting. I always personally tend to fill up to the maximum fill line to make it easy, because AutoIQ will draw the water that you need so that there's no need to be precise. The specialty brew, concentrated coffee, will produce a very small concentrated amount of coffee. Next, you'll need to insert a filter into the brew basket. So you'll simply slide the brew basket out horizontally, and you can choose to either use the permanent filter, that's this metal mesh, or you can use a number four paper cone filter. If you're using the number four paper cone filter, be sure to pre-fold the creases, like so. And then firmly place the filter into the brew basket. After the filter is set, you can use the Ninja Coffee Scoop to add your coffee. The Ninja Coffee Scoop has a single serve side and a carafe side for quicker and more accurate filling. We suggest using three to four single serve scoops for a travel mug, as you can see printed onto the scoop right here. Specialty Brew will brew a very small concentrated amount of coffee with the same amount of coffee grounds that you would normally use for your travel mug. Our Auto IQ technology knows to draw just enough water at the right times to extract the flavor out of your coffee in a small concentrated shot. I like my coffee a little stronger, so I'm going to use four scoops. Then you just need to slide your brew basket back in until you feel it lock into place. If you're brewing a cup, you can use the multi-serve cup platform as you see here. Just place your cup directly on top of it. If you're brewing a travel mug, you can fold this out of the way and then place your travel mug directly onto the warming plate. The warming plate will not turn on when you're brewing a single serve on any size iced coffee or any size specialty brew. Be sure the drip stop is open and then you can press the specialty brew button. The specialty brew button will illuminate once the brew has begun. After the brew starts, the pre-infusion cycle will begin. This is when the Ninja Coffee Bar starts, evenly saturates your coffee grounds, and then stops for a brief pause to begin the thermal flavor extraction process. The pre-infusion cycle for the specialty brew is a very long pause. Don't be alarmed when Auto IQ knows just how long to extract your coffee to make that really strong concentrated coffee that you can only get from your Ninja Coffee Bar. When the brew is complete, set the drip stop to the close position. You can also use the drip stop to clean your brew basket after a brew. This will help you avoid dripping onto the kitchen floor and keep the base or the precise temp warming plate clean. Remove your concentrated coffee from your Ninja Coffee Bar. And using your Ninja Easy Frother, you can create many delicious hot coffee house style beverages. Or you can use your specialty brew to make your favorite frozen blended drinks. Enjoy! Mm -hmm.